Today I'm going to be talking about the Turbo Boost Leak Testers. This is a boost leak tester kit that you will put on your turbo inlet and you can pressurize your system to see if there's any uh, boost leaks in real mode. No one wants boost leaks. So very nice turbo boost coupler. It goes on the turbo. This looks to be a 4 or 5 ply coupler, very high quality. So that's great. Uh, it's included our t pole clamps for both the tester side and the turbo inlet side. And then we have the billet end cap. This is where you're going to hook up your air hose and also the pressure gauge so you can see how much pressure you're putting in the system and see what the leak off is. We have the valve stem adapter and a pressure gauge. This is a 30 psi pressure gauge. 99% um, of all cars, 30% or 30 psi is plenty enough. First thing we need to do is assemble it. So what you want to do first is take your pressure gauge and wrap a little Teflon tape around the threads. This way we don't have any leaks coming out of here when you're trying to leak test your car. And you want to thread this in your billet plate. Then you want to snug it with your 11 millimeter wrench. You don't have to get too tight with this. Just enough so no air is going to get you by when you're 15, 20 psi. Step is to take your valve stem. And there's two pieces here. You're going to have the rubber pressing on each side of the hole. And this nut is a 12 millimeter. So grab your 12 millimeter socket. And this you do not want to go very tight. And you don't want to squish the, the rubber washers too much. Just enough so it seals. That should be plenty. All right, last step is to take the rubber coupler that was provided in your kit. I run a five inch turbo, so 5 inch on the turbo side, and on the other side is the 4 inch. Right, nice and flush in that coupler. Then you're going to take your provided T-bolt clamp, slide that over. And you're going to want to tighten that with an 11, 11 millimeters socket. You do want to snug that pretty good. You don't want that end cap blowing off at 20, 30 psi. It's never fun. It's ready to go in the car. Here's the car I'll be testing this on. It's a 94 Evo 2. The car runs a Precision 7285 Turbo. Uh, I have not done a boost leak test on this thing since I put the turbo kit on, so we're gonna do a leak test and see if there's any leaks. Once you slide the leak tester on your turbo, you're going to tighten the 11 millimeter T-ball clamp. And you're going to want to snug this pretty good as well. So it does not pop off during the test.
All right, so I'm gonna inject about maybe 15, 20 PSI in the system and we'll see if we have any leaks. I can already hear a leak, so I'm gonna probably fill this up to about 15. Let's see if I can pinpoint where it is. 90% of the time you'll hear them. So, let's see. so you can hear this and this is dropping off quite a bit. So that's a pretty big leak. And I can tell right now that's coming from the wastegate vacuum line. Uh, there's little banjo bolts with aluminum washers and looks like one of the washers are leaking. So I'm gonna replace one of those and we'll try again. Okay, so I fixed the boost leak on the wastegate. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. Probably go to about 15 again. Maybe we'll go a little further. We'll go to 20, why not? All right. So I can still hear a leak, and as you can see, it's still losing pressure. Not as bad this time, but... Typically, you want it to lose about a pound every maybe 30 seconds to a minute. That'd be best. So what I'll do is I'll go through and Probably get a spray bottle with soap and water sprayed on different connections where I think it might be leaking and we'll be able to see the boost leak because right now oh, it's kind of hard to tell where it's coming from, but that is the gist of it.